Hey guys, back here again. Um, sorry, the video cut me out in the last one. I had to make a two-parter. What I was saying before is talking about my Dodge Ram. Um, I'm asking 10 bucks on this one or best offer, considering the condition that it's in. Um, interior overall is nice condition. The chassis isn't beat up either. Um, the only thing that's really damaged the worst is like right here. And the windshield, as you can see, is completely obliterated. Um, there's some stuff you can still use. You can use this board. Um, I know this kind of looks horrible, but you can still use this wooden barrel. You can pluck the wheel off of it. Overall, less than 10 bucks or a best offer on this one. Uh, the box is, isn't in that bad condition at all. Um, next is my 66 GTO. Um, this one, overall, obviously you can see the condition that it's in. It got a couple huge dents here and there. Um, I modeled this one after a junk junkyard find that they're rebuilding the chassis and engine out of. Um, so yeah, I'm asking 15 on this. Um, just because of the labor and work effort. Um, yeah. 15 on, let's see if we can find the info. Okay. Box is in good condition, modeled as a rust bucket. Great chassis, it's not to really beat up. And yeah, you can see what I've written down for it. $15, some decals are used. The instruction is in nice condition. And any um, parts that you do not see are in the box. So like the front bumper, rear bumper, um, the side windows, and the, the interior parts. Those are all in the box. And the box does not show much damage. Um, Next, I have my 69 old <clears throat> 442 W30. Um, the hood doesn't fit very well because the, I glued the engine kind of sloppily, so it doesn't see, doesn't kind of go in all the way. Um, otherwise, I started a vinyl roof, but I'd never finished it. Um, but get a little air scoop there. Chest overall, the model isn't uh, bashed to get bashed apart. Um, well built. The glass isn't broken. So yeah, I'm asking <clears throat> ten dollars. Box has box has some wear. There's a weird vinyl roof to it. Hood doesn't fit very well. It does have nice paint though, and uh, overall the model isn't beat up. Horribly. Um, I have the um, <coughs> 60s uh, Ford E150 van, the comma line. Um, all the parts you don't see are on the back right here. So you're not missing any parts. Um, the uh, but the bumper is broken. Um, that's going to be five, five bucks on this one. Is the, the condition that it's in. Uh, overall, it's not like beat up badly, but you have some missing parts, so you have some broken parts like the front bumper. <coughs> um, the promotional Corvette is next. I have. Um, Twelve dollars on it. Um, it is a promotion model. As you can see, the back glass is missing. Um, I, I did chop it off, but it is in the box here. Um, I did butcher in an engine, so that kind of lowers the cost too. But overall, the body you, you still got a whole body, you still got a rolling chassis and interior. Um, I did add in a little racing seat. That is the inside for the Corvette. Yeah, interior is nice. Chassis isn't beat. Added racing seat. 
back glass is missing what it is in the box. It is a commercial model, butchered in engine, and it's a total clown car. Next is, I would say, in the early mid 90s, Chevy 454 SS. Um, uh, this one is well built. So there's not, it is the two the wheels aren't glued on, but they are there. Um, very nice paint job. I, it is primed and painted and gloss coated. Um, it, I painted the seats red. This is not a promotional kit, it's an actual model. So I'm asking. Um, asking two bucks on this one. It's a very well built model, no bod bodily damage. Body, interior, and chassis is in uh, great condition. Any parts that aren't you don't see are in the box. Uh, uh, there's some great teeth, deal, and a nice paint job. Um, asking 20 bucks on this one. First, uh, started on this one, the bed shattered. Um, I do have, I did get it re glued and sanded so the cracks are still visible, but that's what the bed looks like right now. Um, so overall, it's not in horrible condition. Um, yeah, that's what it looks like. No otherwise broken parts. I made a handmade flatbed, um, with some wood on the front. And this is just to help for the, protect the interior, but I did repaint the interior like a metallic blue. Um, so you still have the original box of it. But you're asking $10 or best offer considering the condition that it's in. Um, as you can see, it describes the bed and the flat bed that I made. Um, otherwise, all the model other parts of the model are in good condition, it's not beat up in the box I show somewhere. I have my 86 El Camino, partially built. Um, you may see the glue smudges right here. That's really the only defect that you have. Um, that's what the wheels look like. The box doesn't so much, doesn't um, show much wear. But yet again, any parts that you don't see on this one are on the box. Um, otherwise, just you know, continue your story. Make a hot rod out of it. Make a junker out of it. Do whatever you want. So there's a horrible model. Considering it, just ignoring the glue smudges and the fact that it's unbuilt. Um, I am. Um, <clears throat> Asking five bucks for it, but you guys, it's uh, it is in poor, poor condition. Um, it just describes all the all the stuff on with it and what's good about it. Five bucks on that one, and I do have some uh, Robo models too. Um, I have. 50 Ford F100 and you can see I did a two-tone on it the engine is the engine is built um, overall no bodily damage um, the this tire over here is in the box so like any of the other models any parts you don't see are <clears throat> in the box I am asking 15 on that one Mercury Club Coupe. Um, overall, nice condition. Nothing on it is beat up. Only thing I did rust was the hood. Um, I'm asking 15 solid on this one, and any other info will be <coughs> in the uh, info down in the description. And we'll see you for part three.